Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger BS Old West B7, and uh, today I've run out of my hormones. So I've got, uh, I've got Spironolactin and uh, Stradial. That's my, uh, my hormone therapy stuff. It uh, makes the, um, the old testosterone factories do a little bit less work, and it uh, replaces all the, the testosterone I would have had with uh, estrogen, providing me with a, a much happier life. Um, they, they basically work as antidepressants for me, um, and for, like, a lot of trans people. Uh, like, the mental effects of, of, uh, HRT is just incredibly potent. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm out, and I thought I had another refill. I thought I had another refill. I did not. Um, you know, uh, oh well, <laughs> so I, I, I messaged my, um, aw, I messaged my, uh, a doctor, the endocrine doctor, and, uh, asked if, uh, you know, how we're gonna make this work. I don't like my doctor, by the way, at all. Um, they don't really explain, like, what's happening at any given point. Um, so that's kind of annoying, to be quite honest with you. But, you know, whatever. I, they give me hormones, they give me drugs. And, uh, what else could matter besides that, right? Um, but yeah, they don't really, like, explain what's happening. They just kind of assume I'm going to be capable of handling it myself. And it's like, you know, I get it. You have, like, a bunch of people you're talking to and people you're helping and yada, yada, yada. But, like, I just... Can you just have, like, an automated message that just gives some, like, basic info or something like that? When when you, like, just put some basic info on your website or something? Like, just do something of, like, use to, to people like me who might be a little bit more confused about the process. Because, um... Apparently, I, I have to go out of my way to set up an appointment every year with, like, before a year. So, like, you know, the the, the appointment date just kind of keeps moving forward. Otherwise, they won't accept me and I have to get another referral from my doctor, which is, like, okay, I guess. Sure. Um, I don't know why, but, uh, okay. So, I have to go and get another referral from my doctor to send it off to my, uh, my endo. And then, uh... Set up an appointment with them, and you know, do all this kind of nonsense. And I'm just like, you know, Perfect. I feel like we could just make our lives easier if you just, this like, when we have the, the appointment, just said, hey, so how about we get you in, you know, February 2022? I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, that day works for me. And then we do that. And then if either of us have any issues that uh, prohibit, you know, us from being able to make that day that come up in the future, then we just kind of reschedule it. But we kind of have that schedule thing kind of going on from the start because I'm not going to not need my hormones next year either, okay? Like, it's it's going to be a very recurring problem. The spiral is going to go away in the future because I won't have the testosterone factories anymore. But, you know, like... Bruh! Come on. Like, can we just be... I don't know, a little more... They just... They, I just don't like them. But, you know, I don't have to like them. All I have to do is get my hormones and grow my boobs. That's that's all there is to uh, to do. So. Whatever, you know. It's okay. It's okay. I don't have to complain too much, but it is, it is annoying. Now I've got to, like, uh, send off... i got to tell my pharmacy to send off uh, a request for another um, prescription. And then, you know, the doctor's office will eventually get around to getting it. And this whole time, I don't have hormones. So I don't have any um, hormones to take today. And, you know, I don't know, like, are they going to get the prescription there tomorrow? Are they going to get it there the next day? Like, I don't know when it's going to happen. So I'm just kind of here like, I hope it's soon, because otherwise I'm going to get really depressed and it's going to really suck. Um, you guys will suffer <laughs> if it happens. 
Um, but I ended up like running out a couple of days ago. Um, I can already feel the effects of it. Uh, it's it's like very sudden and very drastic when you come off this uh, this HRT because there's like two components to it, right? There's two components to the depression um, that pops up when you forget to take your uh, your hormone therapy. So there is the uh, there's the fact that you don't have your hormones anymore. They're not you know there to do their job, and uh, that feels bad. So like there's a, there's all these things that um, that uh, testosterone does to your body that are just very undesirable for me. Um, increased libido is like one of them, like a hugely increased, and uh, it's very inconvenient and uh, bothersome. It's not like you know like I'm I'm sitting there like I can't stop watching porn. No, but it's just like you know you end up. Uh, doing something and it's just like oh all of a sudden you know little Jill is is, uh, is deciding that it's it's time to be excited I'm like I just don't care go away and uh, when you're on the the hormones it uh, it doesn't really happen which is uh, much more desirable for sure and uh, another thing that happens when you uh, when you lose is just like um for me anyway uh, my mood just gets way worse. Like the hormones just kind of like help my mood in the first place. Like I just I feel better when I'm when I'm on the hormones. And then the uh, the other one is so that's the two is that like the hormones actually like do something physically to your body. They're 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 physically changing something. Um, the the other one is is that mentally you just feel bad, right? Like you just feel bad because you're not taking your hormones you feel like you're not doing it right you feel like you're messing up you feel like a disappointment to yourself and uh you know to the people who kind of look up to you and it uh it, feel, it feels bad so when you uh, when you end up not having your hormones like this it's just it's it's a really really terrible feeling to be honest with you it's not something that i i, I recommend to anybody um make sure you, if you ever if any of y'all are, are trans make sure you take your hormones and make sure you you have a healthy stock of them but yeah thankfully I will be able to just send off a uh, a prescription and um, to get to get the pharmacy to send off a request and then just get uh, the stuff that way so otherwise I was like I don't know if it's gonna be like three months before I get to talk to my doctor again then I'm probably just gonna go like order some hormones on the websites that uh, that sell them online. It's not not really a choice that I want to make, but um, you know the alternative, like three months without my hormones, I don't know if I'd actually live it. You know, like like I, I'm pretty sure I'd end up killing myself. Um, so you know, to me, I would just end up you know DIYing it. I don't recommend it. It's a bad idea. It's a stupid idea. Don't do it. But you know. Sometimes uh, your choices are kill yourself or do something stupid, and I'm not going to give you any recommendation on what you should do, because I think that could get me in legal trouble, but for me, for me personally, I, uh, I know the decision I'd, I'd want to make. Um, but, you know, it didn't come down to that. I didn't think it would either, because uh, it, it, it is a prescription that is majorly impactful to your life so if they're going to be taking you away from your your medicine for for that long then that's a, a pretty big problem so anyway that's going to do it for today so thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say and i'll see you next time Bye bye